the iconic clever girl of Jurassic Park, who broke out of containment, killed Robert Muldoon and Ray Arnold, and wrecked havoc on Isla Nublar, was very different to her portrayal within the film. Today, we will dive deep and consider one of the most iconic dinosaurs within the franchise, the Velociraptor. The Velociraptor was a small carnivorous theropod at a tiny 1.8 metres in length. This dinosaur would have weighed just 7 kilograms and would have been a small but deadly dinosaur which would have feasted on other animals thanks to its sharp and pointed teeth. The dinosaur would have had sickle claws, as seen within the original Jurassic Park model, but it was believed to be very different than its on-screen portrayal, featuring a fine feather-like covering which is more in line with scientists' modern understanding of dinosaurs. In truth, the dinosaur we see within the Jurassic Park series is twice the actual size of the Velociraptor, given a little bit of movie magic to make the creature more intimidating and more fitting for the needs of the film. This is more akin to one of the Velociraptor's distant relatives, the Deinonychus, and shares some similarities with the more recently discovered Utah Raptor. London's Natural History Museum features two smaller scale animatronics of the Deinonychus, which is what the Velociraptor in Jurassic Park is believed to be based upon, and I really recommend going and checking them out if you are a UK Jurassic fan. With six dinosaurs down, we have one dinosaur left to look at, the icon of the entire Jurassic Park franchise. Join me next week for the final instalment of the first series of Dino Facts Fridays as I look at arguably the most iconic dinosaur in any paleo history, the Tyrannosaurus Rex.